Hey guys, take a minute to video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get out of this emergency SOS screen. If you're stuck on this screen, there's a couple things you can do to get out of this. Now, obviously, if you get into the screen, you probably were trying to reset the phone by a forced restart or something like that. But if this happens, in the simplest and the easy way, you should be able to exit out of this is just cancel then and should exit you out. But let's say it's stuck and you're not able to actually click on the screen. Let's say you still are stuck here. You try to click anything. It doesn't work. You try to slide to power off. It doesn't work. You're going to want to do a force restart next. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to look at the volume up and volume down button. You're going to click and release the volume up quickly and then press and release the volume down quickly one after another. So volume up and then volume down. Press and release them and finally you're just going to hold this side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear. Remember this button you're just going to keep on holding until again the screen goes black and you see the Apple logo at that time you can let go of that button. Again it's volume up, volume down and then I finally hold that side button and then as you can see the screen has changed. Now we're just going to keep on holding that side button until the screen goes completely black. As you can see here, I'm pressing and holding it, screen went black, and then I'm waiting for the Apple logo and then let go of that button. Again, and now this will reboot your phone like normally and it shouldn't delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still will be safe on your phone. Again, make sure you press volume up and then volume down in sequence one after another really quick and after holding that side button and so going screen going black and it's finally rebooted and we should be able to get back into our phone and you should be good to go. Now in a scenario you did that volume up, volume down and was holding that side button if doing a force restart didn't work. The other thing you need to check out to make sure that's working is you may need to charge your phone for half an hour to um, one hour. The reason why that is is that if the phone is low on charge it's going to have some issues, especially with some of the newer devices we've seen, it doesn't have enough power. So when you try to do that volume up and down uh, and then holding a side button, it doesn't work or trying to touch the screen, it doesn't work. So charge for at least one hour or so and then give that a shot, do that force restart again by pressing the volume up and volume down and then holding that side button. So after you charge it as well, hopefully, now you can be able to either exit out of it or do the force restart. Now if that doesn't work, the next thing you need to do is connect it to your computer and see if you can update it through iTunes or your Finder app and I'm going to show you how that's done. So for this method what's going to happen is you're going to connect the iPhone to your MacBook or your PC laptop, doesn't matter what it is, and you're going to go ahead and connect it. And once you connect it on a newer MacBook you can just use the Finder and then you might get this pop-up for trust, you're going to click on trust and then it might ask you to install the update right away. You can go ahead and update it that way or the other thing you can do is open up Finder and once you open up Finder you're going to simply go to your locations for iPhone and then you can trust your device and from here you should be able to go ahead and either restore from backup and you can just hit continue and then you can restore from your existing backup or you can simply go simply restore and you can store, restore from backup or do a software update. And now this will work similarly if you have a Windows based computer PC you can download the iTunes app which is a free app to download and do it that way. Just simply open up your window right and then once you do that just simply go to iTunes. You can find iTunes which is a free app to download and it works the same exact way again you'll download it you'll just connect it and it automatically will pick it up and you can update it through that process and once you do that you should be able to exit out of that emergency SOS screen so I hope this video is helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time